This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Amanda Starantino, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Ten Johnson County EMTs are cleared to return to work after concerns they may have been exposed to a COVID-19 patient. The quarantine came after a call on Saturday for a patient with respiratory problems who ultimately stopped breathing and did not survive. Tests were run to see whether the patient had COVID-19. Today, the Johnson County Joint Incident Management Team announced the COVID-19 test came back negative. That means all ten of those first responders can return to work. And while we adjust to the changes of daily life due to the coronavirus, people in Italy remain on lockdown. We FaceTime with Sarah, who attended Purdue University. She and her husband are stationed in Italy for the military. They have five children. Fortunately, the kids are normally homeschooled, so the change is not major. The afternoons and evenings are when they have to get creative. Sarah says the restrictions mean they can't leave their municipalities, and if they leave their house to go to the grocery store or pharmacy, they must carry a certificate stating where they are going. The family was paying attention to the spreading coronavirus, but she says they did not think it would get to this point. We weren't expecting it. Um, honestly, I don't think many of us here took it seriously until the, the decree was announced about the lockdown. Um, in general, I think people will exercise their freedom as much as they are allowed. And Sarah says after schools were closed, people were initially still congregating where they could in public places and restaurants, so she understands why the lockdown needed to happen. Her advice for friends back here in the U.S., take the situation seriously. Close to 70, that's our Thursday high temperature. It will come with storms, then temperatures fall from a morning high of 63 Friday. Look at where we'll struggle to hit 40 degrees on Saturday. Rain chances increase quickly late morning through the afternoon tomorrow. Some pockets of heavy rainfall. We also have severe risk across all of the viewing area. Enhanced risk from Frankfurt to Anderson, southwest through Indy into southern portions of Illinois. Those storms of strength most most likely late evening and then into the early overnight Friday. After that, we dry out for the weekend. We'll need it. We may see an additional inch to inch and a half of rain before Friday morning. Amanda? For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.